Guitar Festival with his workshop. Uh, soon we're going to perhaps get an answer. Uh, well, for, what, for, for this? Uh -huh. You told me she's not to come, so I don't think she's planning. Ah, uh, okay, she's not planning. Yeah. So it's going to be only guitar, yeah. and uh, you know, it, it's kind of um, odd to have guitar players over there. There is no pressure, you don't have to, but I would love it if you could take advantage of the teachings of the great maestro. So if you want to learn some flamenco, please come up on stage. There is, again, no pressure. But it's kind of like a hands-on workshop. You're here to learn. Okay, yours. And uh, maybe we can get the camera over there. Okay, just be careful with this. Get the store here. Yeah. You sure you want to go up to the top of the stage? Be a lot better. Is as far as it, as it could go. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's as far as the thing goes. Do we need a minute? Oh, because it was on my foot. <laughs> if you can, yeah, that. There you go. Now we can see everything. Someone that someone sits behind you. Alright. Yep. So let's just sit on this
solear essa arma.
some of the people, some of the people get it because I will go. super cool and some people get it they laugh and some people hey that's really cool what is that and it's like dude come on man you don't know stairway but uh that's that's the beauty of it and so sometimes um the other thing about flamenco is and i'm just kind of going a lot of different directions here but the other thing about flamenco is a lot of times you play based on what that dancer's doing and how they inspire you you know sometimes the dancer come in you can just feel some darkness Maybe just kind of you know hold up a little bit, or if you're really feeling the energy, then I feed off that. The dancer feeds on off that. The cajon player feeds off that, and then you just start rocking, right? So every every show is a little bit different. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the dances. So tonight, uh, Bianca is going to dance at Alegrias, Alegrias, and Alegrias comes from the word alegria. Can we speak Spanish here? What does that mean, alegria? Happiness. happiness, right? So it's a happy song. It's a happy song. And so if that was a happy song, um, do you think that would be in a major or a minor key? Major. Probably major key, right? Sometimes 
Stereo de Cod Caracoles.
got that deal, you know, this song, right? And so it's like, and some guys, you get working with, you kind of know, but uh, I'll guess isn't that bad, but certain uh, uh, palos, like a tarantos, man, you're, you're on the same part. Right? And then after a while, you're like, hey, 
I like that beer. It's like eating menudo for the first time. And now I love it, right? But that's kind of flamenco singing. It's weird. But so the singer will come on, they'll do the salida, the salida, and then they'll do a letra. And so when you're playing, you're like, hey, how many letras do you want? And you're like, okay, I want one letra, marcaje, I'll do another letra, and then subida. So I'm like, okay, so they'll sing a letra. <laughs> When they finish, then who would I have to pay attention to? The dancer. Okay? The guitar player is always fun. We have the we have the worst jobs in the world, guys, when we play for flamenco dancers because we're the guy in the back, no glory, and man, we gotta be on our toes. We can't be lost. You gotta keep it in twelves. If they if they sing a letter that you're not used to, and they go, ah, I'm like, oh my god, and you're not ready for that, you're in trouble. Then you get lost, and then they get pissed off at you. So, um, so that's the thing. So usually, like, you'd want to go over the letters beforehand with the singer. Make sure you guys are on the same page. And then after they finish, then you got to start following uh, the dancer again. The dancer might do something called the subida. And subida, subir to lift up, to get faster. So you read. Thank you. 
that much. Right? And then they stop. And then from there, the dancer has a couple choices. They could do something called a castellana, which a castellana would be like just a real short, maybe one or two bars of flamenco break. It's just real fast forward. Some people go right into the escobilla. Now the escobilla is something that you'll see in a lot of the palos. And escobilla is, the dance goes, and they start doing pants forward. And as a guitar player, you're gonna go. forever. 
Alter. Wrong. 
and, and they're like, hey, I got it. I'm like, no, dude. You're playing it, you're playing it along, along. So it's like. So. So it's the biggest. That's what he did. And it makes sense because you can't do this. Well, all of a sudden, a couple years later, this guy named Paco de Lucia shows up. He says, well, let's try a little bit differently. So the way Paco does it is the way I do it. And same thing, we're going to come up with a thumb. We're going to go with the thumb. And now, you have some choices here. You can go down with your middle finger, or you can go down with your ring and middle finger. So let's just go down with the middle finger.
know people who've been practicing for years and they can't get it because they don't practice it right. You just do one at a time. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
got to get a crash course on on Pascalos here, but but um, and it's really easy because when I'm doing this, I can go right into I could do something like maybe I'm playing like. Uh, Is you can go up. Uh, 